I gotta say it. I think the hottest girl in this anime so far might not be Rory Mercury. It's not Chuka. It's not even the princess. I think it might be Bozus. Something about Bozus is so compelling. Even though she pretty much like doubled down and slapped Itami again after fucking up the tree. Bozus kind of got it going on. Now, I think we left off with Pina and Bozus basically entering the gate. We're going back to Earth and doing like politics stuff. Surely nothing bad is going to happen, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Welcome to Japan. <laughs> Welcome to Tokyo. I don't know where this is. They're buildings. They're buildings. Oh my god! They have offices? What is that transparent material? How do they just float in space like that? What are these walls? Kind of. It's very populated and we kind of go up, right? Vertically. I can't believe we started a war against people that could build buildings. I mean, yeah, if you look at this landscape for the first time, it's probably crazy, huh? Oh, Chuka, that sweater. I bet you're glad you're wearing that sweater now. I love how Lolly's weapon is completely covered. Hmm, who's this guy? He seems kind of sleazy, I don't know. Hmm. See, look at Rory's like, cause like we just can't bring a fucking halberd around, right? I mean, we could say she's just cosplaying. The second lowest grade. How does someone so barely making it get promoted this high? This is kind of creepy, bro. Holy shit, you did your homework. Yeah, this incident pretty much has elevated his entire career. That laugh is... He's not wrong. We kind of are a slacker. We otaku, but like his laugh is so creepy, bro. I don't know. He's the main character, bro. Special Forces Group S. Modeled after the US Army's Green Berets and Delta Force. She's just like losing her mind about how this like casual lazy motherfucker has gotten to this point. Yes. I do believe lazy people are necessary. In fact, that's me at my work, right? I don't give a fuck at my corporate day job because that's not the focus, right? I'm not trying to grind there. So I'm very lazy and I'm a, I'm a slacker, right? I pretty much set the floor so that other friends, employees, right? O other, my teammates, they look good, right? I, they should be worshiping me, in fact. The fact that I just leave work early to just like stream anime. They should be worshiping me that I'm just like not, I, I like barely do anything because it makes them look good and gets them promoted. I'm doing them a service, okay? That laugh, dude. <laughs> She's losing it. <laughs> She's fucking lost it. <laughs> right, because last episode, Kuriba, she was like, you're a fucking ranger? Which is like, like really important, like training, you know, it's like the most elite of the elite soldiers and like then we're special forces on top of that too. So it's like double damn. That fucking laugh, dude. That fucking laugh. <laughs> that fucking laugh. <laughs> Imagine trying this fucking hard and still not being, you know, special grades or being a ranger, bro, while Itami's just fucking around playing his fucking magical girl gotcha game. Festival? It's just, uh, I don't know, just Christmas time? Is it almost? They said it was cold. Chuka got it going on. Oh, Chuka business outfit secretary. Wow. Wow. This is formal work for people. I know that this is like Emroy priest, like official outfit but like who designed this shit straight up who did this like even the fucking little 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 ears right here too like come on now who designed this shit oh food yo 
If they yeah, eat modern so food, so they're gonna get their minds okay. blown. Okay. So this is like casual food, right? Not even like really like expensive fancy food either. <laughs> this is like pretty much like 7-Eleven food, right? Like it's really like quote unquote cheap food. Umai incoming. Umai! Oishi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because like the idea of like seasoning, salt, you know, like basic food flavors. Back in the day, none of that shit. That's the, one of the things I love in Isekai, where it's like, you bring like modern spices, just like even salt, and people fucking lose their minds. That's why I love campfire and cooking in another world so much. Oh, Reiko. Oh, hello. Japan. Wait, doesn't this look really bad if they're basically gonna- Are they gonna basically like put Pina on stage and be like, why did you attack us? Or did, are, are we just gonna like confront them in front of the public? <laughs> Who is this on the top? <laughs> This is you guys right now. <laughs> Actually, this isn't even that bad. Honestly, the top, the top screen, like, his, his, like, station is way more cleaner than mine. It's not even that degenerate. Lele! And Rory Mercury. Oh, that veil! I don't have a good feeling about this, man. I feel like a lot of people are gonna start some shit. There's the world leaders, too. Why did you kill the people of Japan? There we go. Do we got good answers or what? Everyone's watching. Bald, bald. <laughs> Why were there so many casualties? Finding the dragon. Uh. The dragon's strong. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes sense. Let's be honest. No, no need to make a lie. No need to have a narrative. Dragon's fucking cracked. Blame the, blame the fucking dragon. Mm. We lack the funding. Who gives us the funding towards the SDF? Right, so position it as if we did not have the resources to properly fight against them. Who gives us the resources? The government, right? The, whoever is funding us, so then we spit it right back on them. We had fucking BB guns. Yeah, we got a lot of dragon scales. Yeah, it's very unreasonable. <laughs> she got nothing to say, bro. Her name, bro. Let's go, Lele! Immediately, the target demographic changes to all the fucking weaves and otaku who loves Lele. Okay. How's the conditions? The SDF has treated us so well. It's like a luxurious hotel, man. Five star! Nah, we're chilling. We got everything we need. What the fuck could I ask for? This is looking so bad for her because she's trying to be so hostile. Right? She's trying to put base, basically what she's trying to do is put you in little gotcha moments, right? Have like, like giving you like loaded questions where the only answer sounds bad. Lately is actually really doing well, just encountering it to the point where even her men are just looking at her like, "Yo, this is looking really bad for us. You're fucking this up." There would have been more casualties if the SDF weren't there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, your name is Tuka now? Bitch, I thought it was Chuka for the last fucking seven episodes. You're just gonna be Tuka now? All right, you're Tuka now. That's an elf, yeah. Erif. Racist! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Erif. <laughs> just flexes her ears. <laughs> now they're great. Without them, we would have all died. And Itami saved her. Yeah. Lolly Mercury. <laughs> Shinigami. 
Is it morning clothes? I wonder. Why does she have the veil on? I wonder. What's the? Is the veil also important to her culture? Why would she wear a veil? Is it for like celebration or some shit? Let's see it. Ooh. We're chilling. I live, I pray. I receive life. <laughs> Define receiving life. <laughs> yeah, receive? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of different things. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, trying to get us in another gotcha moment. Roy's family what? What about her family? Does she even have family? I wonder. This bitch, man. Honestly, wouldn't Ro wouldn't Rory say some shit like, I wish more civilians died. Then I could have been even more horny, more down bad. More souls would have fucking went up through my fucking... Push, you know, to the god, right? She thinks she got a good one on us, dude. Cocky, bitch! She's exposing her true colors, man. She yelled that on national TV? <laughs> yes, shit on her! You're a lolly though, I'm sure she's old as fuck though. What is the veil though? What is the veil though? Okay. That's right. And she was riding Itami that time. Who's gonna protect people like you? Who do nothing but sit in comfort and complain, little girl. Oh my god, this is an insane... This has gone from an interrogation to a fucking roast session. Little girl, stupid little girl. Where's our awards? More of them would have died. Warding, right? The intentional warding of the politician saying... One fourth has died. But what does that really mean? We saved three fourths of them, right? Rory's exactly correct. I feel like she does understand that though, right? The politicians are very, they're, they're very sly. They do know. They intentionally phrased the warning to make it sound bad, to make a good situation sound bad, saying one fourth died instead of saying three fourths have survived. And Rory is fucking spitting. Your stupid question, stupid little girl. Dude, Rory's popping off. Even the world leaders are like, God damn, this is a roast session. Elders. Here we go. How all of this lolly mercury? Because like, you know, that's a common anime trope. It's a lolly, but it's like a 9,000 year old demon. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the age. How old am I? How old? Oh, oh. Because last episode, whenever she was about to like go crazy, right? The lipstick changes, right? So this is like frenzy mode? I don't know. But there's a visual cue when like Lolly Mercury kind of just goes into like this berserk state. Purple? <laughs> no, Lolly was about to do something crazy though. No. Would she have? Would she have tried to kill her there? What did she try to do there? Because it looked like she was about to unravel her fucking halberd, right? It looked like she was about to unsheath it. And like her lips changed. So does that not imply that she was ready to kill her here? Uh, uh, what, what was that? She might have? 9,961. Yep, anime logic. Yep, this, this little girl, this, this girl that has like a body of like a fucking 13 year old. 961 years old, yep. Yeah, Kyuhaku! <laughs> Kyuka's probably super old too, she's an elf. She's an elf, bro. No, I'm 15. <laughs> no, I'm 15, I'm chill, don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, oh, Tuka, oh my god. Oh. She was originally a human. She became a demon demigod. How? There must be some kind of like... Ritual, some event that happened. Okay, we know that's why she keeps her lolly form, but like, okay, but then what? She ascends to godhood? So, 
961 is that saying in about like 40 ish years in about 39 years she's about to abandon physical existence because it says after a thousand years or so after a thousand years or so after she transitioned first spirits then gods holy shit she's really close to like ascending huh a god has descended literally a god has descended yes sit down you stupid girl oh shit we still have a bunch of their soldiers that we didn't kill them all right from episode one i forgot about that Six thousand men still lost, locked up. Uh, uh, money? What is it? Priorityこの家若干名ならばそう行方不明者の中には元老院議員や貴族の指定も多くいます。Class for hand. Is it gonna be an awkward handshake? Oh, no, no, it's pretty good. Things went pretty well for Pina and them. I thought things would be really bad. Okay, going back to the gates. Did he just block them off? Wait, what? 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 What's going on? What's going on? Was Rory afraid of a train? Yeah, someone blocked them, but like, I couldn't really understand the order there. <laughs> People think that like, Itami is a fucking pimp. They were like, we're pimping out these like, cosplay girls. <laughs> Yo, I mean, he, he looks like a fucking pimp too then. Okay, so those are decoys and the actual mode of transportation is this train. Gotcha. What do they think this is, right? Pina's probably thinking like, this is like an iron worm. Welcome to the, the bullet train. Is this the start of a ship? Bosis? And I don't know what his name is, but I, I think it is. It might, maybe they're planting the seeds right now. And Rory and Itami. 200 years ago, she told me to marry her. This is like some kind of like ancient god lore, right? That's been in the past. And she's like mistaking like ground trembling from the train movement with this being called Hardy. Who is Hardy? I want to meet her. Hardy, huh? She wants you? <laughs> Hardy only likes girls. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Itami voice acting. <laughs> Kunibashi, you're right. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> Itami's voice, you know, coming out of Rory's face is like, <sighs> Oh, hey, what's up? You again. He is helping us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, why, so, so when he, I thought that, like, I was kind of confused on what he was doing, but he basically blocked the cars off, right? And the buses were already bait, and it was all the trains. The laugh in the beginning, it was kind of creepy, but at the end of the day, he was a good guy. Unless he's not a good guy and we're getting baited. Maybe we're getting baited. You know, if I heard that, I'd be like, sorry, the train rides three hours. I'd be like, fuck it, we're just going to go in a loop. We're just going to stay in this fucking train. <laughs> Come on, keep clinging out to me. <laughs> No, two more stops, no, tw 20 more stops, 20 more stops. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Not functioning. Okay. All part of the plan? <laughs> Jesus. The air is filthy. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, cities, like pollution, right? It's kind of, you know. Who is they, though? The government? Kidnap? You stole the halberd? Wait. So he like tried to steal the hammer, but it's like too heavy. <laughs> so he just collapsed on it. Damn, how heavy is this thing, man? Can you lift it? <laughs> Bro, I have to get a fucking 
fucking stretcher because of how heavy it was. And look how casually Rory just like grips it one hand, bro. What a whip. Look, she's just twirling it. Get. Bye bye. I feel like Akihabara would be the one place where we wouldn't look like out of place because of, you know, they'd be like, oh, they're like cosplay girls, you know? Who is this? What the fuck is that? It's like a cat girl. Is that, is this Yaoi? I can't really tell, but okay, we got a need over here. One more page? Author? Some kind of author? Itami? Family? <laughs> what the fuck? Friend? Friend? Ex-wife? Bro was married before? To an author? To like a magical girl manga or some shit? What? Huh, indeed. Well, oh, oh, okay, bro, bro was fucking married. Now, I, I did make some claims in the beginning of this series saying, Oh, another isekai. I bet it's just another fucking lonely virgin neat. But he might not be a neat. And in fact... If you kind of look at this screen right here, is this the same person that we saw all the way throughout, right? During during the interrogation, right? We saw a different POV, right? There was another person, top screen, constantly, where we saw, like, um, from the perspective of how they were watching the news. You know what I'm talking about, right? Maybe it's a different person. Their layout of the room, I'm not really sure it matches, but interesting that Itami has an ex-wife. I wonder how this is going to develop. The interactions on Earth, as expected, is pretty interesting, right? It's like a completely new foreign land to them. The politics is also extremely different, right? And people are trying to take advantage of them, right? And it's like, the fact that Rory just shit on her, bro, she went fucking hard, man. I wonder what the veil really meant because she didn't give us an explanation of what the veil really meant at the end of the day, right? And I think that she was ready to start killing. Imagine if Itami didn't step in and Rory started to just like chop people's heads off. Imagine the kind of like conflict that we would have. Holy shit, things would have gone fucking downhill. But hey, so far, we're kind of like playing it safe and nothing is really going too bad except for some people trying to you know like i don't know fucking like get one over us but that's it for me if you're still here if you if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content until next time take care